Hey Pulse Youth Group, this is David, your youth pastor, coming to you on February 9th, 2011, and these are your Wednesday announcements. Uh, February 9th, that means ladies, revolve. Uh, the deadline is today. Your $50 has to be in to secure a ticket. Uh, going forward, we will only buy more tickets uh, if two things happen. A, if it's possible, if it hasn't sold out already, and if you turn in $50. So, uh, Talk to me today about Revolve if you definitely want to go, because uh, today is the deadline. Uh, another deadline coming up soon is for the Rock and Worship Roadshow. Uh, first seven people to turn in ten dollars. I uh, only got a couple more of those free T-shirts available to those first uh, those first seven people. Uh, so get that cash in today, or you're gonna miss out. Or you can always go online and buy your own T-shirt. Uh, as well to get to the front of the line. Uh, listen to my boy Lecrae. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm a star, skateboard. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's Lecrae. I'm inviting all y'all to come out to the Rock and Worship Road Show, uh, feature people like Mercy Me, Thousand Foot Crush, Jaws of Clay, um, you know, myself, you know what I'm saying? Um, they're going to bring the worship, I'm going to bring the rock, you know, because that's what I do, man. You know, I rock for the rock. Actually, I rap. But it's all good. You know, rap and worship road show, too, a little bit, something like that. Just come out, have a good time. We're going to worship the Lord. Do it real big. Much love, y'all. Peace. I'm trying not to fall this time. And now I have a special lady that is going to give us some uh, great suggestions on wearing a name tag. Hello, I'm Cindy Seed, an etiquette coach for over 15 years, and I'll be covering a few simple tips regarding name tags. Ball, when preparing name tags, always showed the names in spoken order. So that's your first name followed by your last name. It is not necessary to provide any further information. Second, use only big, bold block letters, either in all caps or with upper and lower case letters. Avoid using cursive or script handwriting. To me, Nothing is more annoying than name tags are printed too small. When handwriting your own label, do write your information in a font size greater than 8 to 12 point type. Always wear your name tag on your right shoulder. Place the tag or badge as high up on your right shoulder as possible to give other people the best and easiest view of both the tag and your face. As you extend your right hand for the handshake, your eye and your arm already are being drawn to the right side of the person you are greeting. Because the uppermost part of your chest is the flattest area, this helps your tag to lie flat and be more secure. So there you have it, some simple guidelines to writing and wearing name tags. I'm Cindy Seed. I am so excited about the YouTube night coming up on March 9th. Uh, you got to get your video entries submitted on PulseYouthGroup.org by March 2nd. Uh, so you don't have much time left. Uh, so get those links in. Remember, there are two categories. And on the announcements, we've seen uh, plenty of examples from the funny category. Uh, but I'm going to give you an example now of something from the inspirational, what God wants us to know category. And uh, this is not necessarily an endorsement of what he's saying, but some food for thought. What you are about to see is live, raw, real answers at roughly 10 p.m. to text message questions that I receive after our final service on Sunday nights at Mars Hill Church. If I'm too young for marriage, is it wrong to date? Yes. What's the point of dating? Ultimately marriage. Let's say you're, you're years from being, you know, graduated. You're a guy, financially able to marry. Why? Why would you take a gal out and emotionally get connected, maybe cross sexual lines knowing this has no future? Why? You know what that is? That's using someone. Because you're lonely. Because you like companionship because you like sexual favors. You know, that's, that's not right. I mean, honestly, 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 if you're the single young guy here asking this question, or maybe you're a gal, I don't know if it's a male or a female, would you date one of my kids?
Would you walk up to me, if you're a guy, and say, I, I know I'm not ready to marry and I have no intentions. Could I just have your daughter for a few years? <laughs> if you're a gal, would you do that with one of my sons? Walk up and say, oh, Pastor Mark, I, I have, I'm not ready to marry and I don't intend to marry and I'm not mature enough to marry and I'm not in that season of marriage, but I'm just looking for someone to hang out with and get emotionally connected to and maybe have occasional sexual contact with. Could I have your sons for a few years? I would hope you would respect me enough as your pastor to say, I would never ask that. What I would say is treat everyone that way. Don't have people that you put in the bucket of, I honor them, and people you put in the bucket of, I dishonor them. Put everyone in the bucket of, they're an image bearer of God, and I honor them. And I honor them. And if you wouldn't disrespect someone whom you honor, a family that you honor, don't do that to anyone. Don't do that to anyone. Rather than worrying about dating, worry about maturing. Put your energies where they count. Votes are coming in for the Name That Snack Bar on PulseYouthGroup.org. Uh, Yum Malicious is out in front, so get on yourself to PulseYouthGroup.org and vote for a name for our snack bar so we can finally have a wonderful name. Um, also, if you'd like to help out, especially on the high school side, uh, on Wednesday nights, uh, to keep the snack bar open and running, uh, we could use some more volunteers. Uh, so please see myself or Ricky uh, to help out in the snack bar. And again, all proceeds from the snack bar uh, go to summer camp and helping people get there. Um, speaking of high school, seniors, class of 2011, listen up. Uh, you want to get on to PulseYouthGroup.org, and I also have some uh, printed copies as well. Um, the Reinhardt Scholarship. It's a great scholarship program. The church provides uh, cash to seniors who are going off to college and who doesn't like free money. All right, so uh, you want to get a copy of that, see if you're eligible, and uh, you definitely want to apply for the Reinhardt Scholarship. Uh, also, uh, be praying for Lon. He's headed to Chicago this week to get a second opinion on his tongue cancer and to see what more can be done. Uh, continue to pray for his healing, and uh, we love Lon, so please continue. Uh, to uplift him to the Father. And uh, let's now spin that wheel because the announcements are done. He's going <laughs> to. He's going to...